Exciting moments in our Feel Good Breakfast Show studio. It is time for our culinary hotline. So you need to give Zoma R a call. She's standing here to answer your burning food questions. If there's a cooking conundrum that you have, give us a call. Your personal chef is here on Speedtail 083 91 33728. Also, if you've got a Facebook or Twitter question, don't forget to use our hashtag for this morning. It is hashtag Expresso Show, and we will answer your questions live on our Feel Good Breakfast Show morning, Zoma. Oh, morning. How are you? Okay. <laughs> I see amazing stuff in front but before we even ask the questions that came through on Facebook we already have a caller on 0839133728 you're live on your feel good breakfast show Shaz what's your question or comment morning hi, hi guys Shaz. love the show just want to say love the show <gasps> love you love you you guys are doing awesome job thank uh, you my question today is um, prawns flying garlic prawns I just want to know how do I not get the garlic to burn and, and leave that bit of taste when wow. trying the prawns. Good idea. Thank you, Shaz. Thanks. So she's talking about garlic yes. prawns. Like, uh, okay, so how do we do get the garlic not to burn? Okay, so garlic burns very easy, especially when you finely chop it. Mm. So make sure your heat is at a medium heat when you're frying your garlic. Then you can turn it up because you want the prawns to cook, cook quickly. But a tip is to actually slice the garlic instead of chopping it really fine. Cook it into in the oil, so flavour the oil. Then take the garlic out and cook the prawns in that oil. Because okay. then you still get the garlic flavour, but you don't get the burnt garlic. See, you said something important. Put the garlic in the oil, because I was going to make a mixture and do it... The, you know, like how you marinate a steak? Oh, uh, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's a, that's the risk you take when, with burning it, because mm -hmm. obviously you're going to cook it at a high heat. Because prawns, you know, they want to cook it at a high heat because you want to keep them juicy and delicious. Ooh, like but yeah. Medium or heat. fry the garlic first, medium, so that, you know, it, it sort of... Um, takes the flavor out mm. what's the what's the word i'm looking you for you flavor the oil correct <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it extracts the flavour from the garlic yes. and then add your prawns. Ooh, lekker, Shaz, you made us all excited <laughs> about food this morning. You've got a burning question? Well, this is your cooking conundrum saving line. Yes, it is the culinary hotline. 083-913-3728. In fact, we had some questions as they're coming through on Facebook. This one says, hi, Zola. Hello. It's from <laughs> Tilly Colletton. She okay. says... Oh, Collison. <laughs> she says, how do you make a proper sweet and sour sauce? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very simple to make a sweet and sour sauce. Right. Um, okay, so the, I'm going to take you through the steps very quickly. Right. If you do want the recipe, it's on our Facebook page and it will be on our Espresso website. Espresso Morning Show SABC3. How oh, do we yes. get started? Okay, so you take some corn flour here. Mm -hmm. You add it to some water. Let me just take our aprons away here. Please do. Thank you. Okay, so corn flour, equal amount. So a <laughs> tablespoon of corn flour and a tablespoon of water. Right. Make a slurry. Okay, this is what a slurry is. What did is. you say? A slurry. A slurry. When you mix corn flour and water, that's called a slurry. <laughs> a slurry. Okay. <laughs> then here are the rest of the ingredients into a pot. Tomato sauce, because you know how sweet and sour has that pinky color, right? Yes. The sour comes from rice vinegar. Rice you vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar if okay. you don't have the sweet from... Brown sugar, I Brown sugar, use. and a combination of sweet and How sour. How much your plate there? Uh, just medium heat. Medium heat. Yeah, you just okay. want to melt the sugar, basically. Lekker. And then the sweet and sour combo, yeah. or part of the combo, yeah. um, comes from tinned pineapple, crushed pineapple. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm learning And then some soy sauce for a beautiful colour as well. But your soy sauce is thick. Yes, you do get thick soy sauces. Okay, so it, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Regular soy sauce is perfect as well. Okay. So then what you do is you melt the sugar and you bring this to the boil. Mm. Okay. Then you take your slurry. The reason why we make a slurry is so that we don't get lumps. Oh. See, you've got to mix the corn okay, flour. Okay, cool. Cool, then you pour, pour that in there. You'll see it'll thicken. And corn flour, actually, you can see it goes white a little bit, mm. but then once it starts boiling, it'll thicken and it'll clear up. Okay, and it won't be, it won't be that murky. It won't be that murky, though. <laughs> okay. So that's sweet and sour. You add your chicken, you add whatever you want. Okay, 083 913 You've got a burning question? Well, let us know. Zola will explain this again later on when we do have time. We're more of your culinary hotline, and we're first going to take a short ad break. <laughs>